Tater Knot Pottery is an open educational pottery studio where we offer people the opportunity to watch a potter at work and learn about the process that goes on to make a piece of real earth turn into a beautiful thing they can use on a daily basis. We then offer them the opportunity to visit our gallery and see the finished product. The business, which is 33 years old, got started while we were in Berea at a studio space, which was a cooperative space for multiple artists that incubated other businesses besides a pottery business. And after 12 years at an in-town location, the business moved to our very rural nine miles outside of Berea Farm, where we've been in existence and we're in our 21st year of being out at Tater Knob. The way we started our business was uh, by having great training at Berea College. We had wonderful training on how to make pots and not so much sell pots, but how to make pots and that training has helped our business immensely to make nice pots that people like to cook and eat and drink out of. The patrons that currently find us nine miles out in the middle of nowhere um, and take the time and energy to drive out to visit with us are clients that we nurtured and cultivated during the beginning years of being an open educational studio in Berea. Being in business as clay is not really lucrative, it's not really successful, and we've somehow managed to do this, but uh, it's not as easy as everybody thinks. We make it look really easy because we've been making pots for a long time. And we, we make it look easy. We both love to throw pots. So in that love, you put up with all that other stuff and, and th to get to the point that you can do what you love, which is the actual making of the vessel with your hands. There's just, it's wonderful to throw pots. To be an entrepreneur and be the manager, the business manager, the money person, the bottom line person, as well as throwing, is a balance of all the different things it takes to make life work and pay the bills. And I get up every day with joy, and I think that if anybody wants to be an entrepreneur, they should be joyful about what they decide to be an entrepreneur with. Because unless you find joy in the work you do, then it can become miserable. And I still find great joy after 40 years of being a potter, 33 of which I've been in business.